Hello everybody, this is Not A Crypto Expert chiming in with another video. And in this video, I would like to point your attention towards an issue that's going on in South America, in Venezuela actually. Um, and before I go any further, I want to state and repeat that the geopolitics of what's going on, I am not commenting on it. The, um, the internal struggle of what's going on, I am not commenting on it. I am not versed enough in the politics of what's going on in Venezuela to really have an opinion on who's right, who's wrong. But there was an article regarding the current president's request to have $1.2 billion worth of gold withdrawn from the, uh, the Bank of England. However, it was blocked by the particular bank and that block was kind of orchestrated well, I'm not going to say it was orchestrated, but the United States urged that the Bank of England deny the request to withdraw this $1.2 billion worth of gold from the Bank of England for the um, president of the current president of Venezuela. And once again, I just want to restate, I am not taking sides. I don't know enough about what's going on down there. I don't think that many people really do or have been paying attention to what's going on down there. I'm not taking sides. I just wanted to point out that this is an area where cryptocurrency might have been very useful to whomever for example if let, let's take venezuela maduro out of this let's say that there was a wealthy billionaire and let me close this pop up there's a wealthy billionaire and for whatever reason they made somebody upset or whatever and a financial institution decided you know what we're going to freeze all of your assets and not allow you to do anything with them well, if, if your money or your currency or well, gold, money, whatever, if it's being controlled by that bank or that financial institution, then you're stuck. Whereas with cryptocurrency, it's a matter of a few keystrokes. You send that, tra you transfer that money elsewhere and you do what you want with it. Or you don't even need to, um, it doesn't need to be housed in a financial institution because you're walking around with it on a, um, a hardware wallet or if we introduce decentralized exchanges there's really no need for a financial institution to be holding your currency and I'm pretty sure that Maduro is probably very upset at the fact that 1.2 billion dollars worth of gold that was his or his country's is being held up by people that have nothing to do with the internal affairs of his country once again i just want to repeat one last time i'm not taking sides in what's going on in venezuela i don't know enough about what's going on in venezuela to even offer a um an educated opinion on the geopolitics of it all however this right here the cnn article is a prime example of what cryptocurrency can do for taking the control out of a, a centralized financial institution so with that being said, folks, I'm going to say this one more time before I sign off. I'm not taking sides. I don't know who's right, who's wrong. I hope that everything works out down there with the least amount as of um, fatalities, casualties, injuries, and hopefully they get some stability. But keep in mind that if your money is in a financial institution, it's just a matter of you pissing them off and you not having access to that money if they decide to cut you off from it. That's not going to happen with cryptocurrency. So with that being said, folks, I hope that you are having a great morning, a great afternoon and a